cracking into the new year. Yeah, right? We are now in a very active pattern. A lot of eyes on this potential nor'easter for the weekend. The trouble, however, that we're going to see in the east actually starts way out west. The relentless Pacific Parade of Action is going to march on. That means we've got a couple more to go. It's allowing winter to perk up pretty much coast to coast. You've got an extended Pacific jet stream spinning up this action, back to back storms over the Pacific coming inland. And you look at this and the approach of the storms on water vapor really looks cool. I mean, these 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 swirly cues, you know, the swirl of the energy out there in the ocean up in the atmosphere shows you exactly the type of energy that we've got to work with. It's potent. It created some big waves offshore. You've seen that on social media. Uh, those big waves and that energy in the atmosphere together gather up the moisture and it comes in and it produces the valley rain and the mountain snow that we're tracking. And so some of these same areas that got nailed, but the real punishing, you know, surf, the coastal flooding of the last several days, they get a taste of it again on Sunday, not as potent. But you look at this imagery and you can see everything organizing. Mm -hmm. And it yeah. sort of marches up. That's why we call it a parade of storms is everything is lining right up and you can see them directed in. And, you know, Stephen, the unexpected size of these waves that came through the past week, right. I mean, they were jaw dropping. Even if you're Massive. familiar with the coast. Absolutely. These were shocking waves. People Thir who live there were talking about 35 it. to 40 yeah. feet. Well, there's something about winter swells, right? Yeah. You, you get those and, and then the Mavericks just right. off the, the bay. And, and it's open. It's Maverick season. But yes. this, was this was widespread. Yeah. This was widespread. And we, we had that salt water push yeah. inland, the inundation that we saw. And then, of course, we right. had the spectators. I mean, yeah. still, it, it's just 15 miles south of San Francisco in Pacifica, yeah. uh, California. We dealt with those waves. I mean, there's so much video to, to go around. But when we're looking at at this wow. you had people way too close yeah. and swept them off their feet quite literally pushed them in just just a bit um it, it's it's a dangerous period it wasn't just one or two looking loose though no this was this was, this was this was a scene set up several places across all the way coast. down to san diego, and, it, san Francisco to san diego and a couple of these waves led to injuries no yeah. no deaths but but when when that's the case i i mean it's it's a serious thing uh, i mean we keep in mind when when we're looking at these Listen to the, the alerts, the criteria. We've got the high surf advisories, which are in effect today. They run through uh, this evening. We, we also have the high surf warnings. Those are the ones that we've seen issued last week. They were around San Francisco, San Mateo County, one of them, at least along the immediate coast. But, but looking at where we have the wave heights and, and how big they're going to get, it really depends. The farther north you head up the California coastline, the greater the waves will become. And around San Francisco, Monterey, Pacifica, as we saw, those breaking waves could be about 19 to 23 feet. But it does speak to the maturing nature of these storms as they get a little closer to the coastline and we see the big time waves. Yeah, and never yeah. turn your back on the ocean. That is, a, that is a good rule of thumb that you bring up. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.